Well, speaking about that, uh, Groundhog, meteorologist Jill Sweat put together some stats for uh, the furry prognosticator yesterday, and they're interesting. Uh, because uh, apparently old Punxsutawney Phil is a little bit of a pessimist when it comes to an early spring. And you know the old folklore that if it's yes, if he sees his shadow, you get six more weeks of winter because he freaks out and runs back in the hole. Uh, if he doesn't, it's a no, and that means an early spring. But that's only happened 18 times, the early spring uh, forecast from Phil. So we'll wait and see how things go later on today. And that's uh, all the way back since the late 1800s. It's definitely feeling like winter here. We had that Arctic front track in last night. It's what sparked the rain to snow transition. And now we are in the deep freeze. 15 degrees in Lexington. We have a single degree for the wind chill. It feels like it's one out there thanks to that northwest wind sustained at 13 miles per hour. So a wicked cold morning. Here's some of the snow totals from yesterday, and it wasn't a lot. The official total at Fayette County, for Fayette County out of Bluegrass Airport was two tenths of an inch. I had about four tenths of an inch in my house in Lexington, and Madison County had a one inch report. Anderson County had an almost one inch report, nine tenths of an inch, and an inch and a half officially out in Breathitt County at the National Weather Service office in Jackson. But Menifee County got to over two and a half. So there were some uh, totals upwards of an inch or two as expected south and east. So not a big snow, still some lingering snow showers and flurries tracking southeast on the Max Track Live. So you still could pick up a little hint of some light accumulation. You really just want to watch out for slick spots on the roads. That Arctic front obviously has continued to work its way southeast. So for today, tail end of the snow showers and flurries, loads of sunshine later on this afternoon. The problem is it's just cold. Tomorrow, mostly cloudy. There's a warm front lifting up into Ohio, and we will feel the impact of it. We should get back into the low 40s. But here comes trouble at the end of the weekend, a wintry and definitely wet mix because if we look out how things are going to work out Saturday night into Sunday, temperatures are going to be just mild enough, low 40s tomorrow, and then only dropping down around the mid to upper 30s uh, Saturday night into Sunday. Maybe some folks around freezing. That's going to keep it awfully messy. Snow likely over to cold rain Sunday as temperatures stay around the upper 30s. And then as an Arctic front comes in Sunday night, that may our, be our best chance for some light snow accumulation as we go over to all snow and that colder air comes rolling in. That won't be, though, till Sunday night. So the end of the weekend is a mess. The beginning of the weekend is nice and quiet. It's just flat out cold. 26 for the high today. Northwesterly wind, 5, 10 miles per hour. So it'll start to back off a little bit later on and then become more west-southwesterly overnight. But that doesn't save us from a very cold night. Low to mid-teens, frigid stuff. Low 40s tomorrow, mostly cloudy, pretty quiet. And then Sunday, it just gets ugly. Uh, just about every precipitation type that you can expect. Uh, well, mainly rain and snow, but there may be a little bit of freezing drizzle thrown in the mix. Not too worried about that, but that could lead to slick spots on wet roads. So you want to watch out for that. And then a break Monday, and then into Tuesday and Wednesday. Here we go again, another system tracking in. This one mild enough to start out as rain, then potentially go over to a mix. So our messy February just keeps on trucking. Sure does. The only mix I want is something I mix in my Culver's concrete mixer. Mm, okay. I'd be good. <laughs>